Good morning, rock stars. Great to see you here live. Let me know if you guys can all hear me and see me. Type yes here below in the chat. Let me know all this amazing technology is working. I'm gonna make sure the volume is all the way up. Good morning, good morning. How do I package 10 to 20 years of experience into a sellable brand name for myself? Coaches, this is for you. This is a question I get asked a lot on our live Q&A's inside our 10K and 30 day program. If you don't know me, my name is Vanessa Simpkins and I help women entrepreneurs create a portable, profitable business that they can rock in their bikinis. Uh, some people call me the bikini business coach. I'm a Canadian who moved to Kauai, Hawaii several years ago and really had to figure out online marketing. Um, and most of my clients come to see me because they want to get consistent sales in their coaching consulting business. They want to be able to create this portable profitable business model and be able to travel uh, with it. Uh, before we get started, welcome Donna. It's great to see you guys here this morning. Before you get started, I created a four part wealthy coach training video series for some of these topics that I cover over and over again. I've been doing this now for 10 years and you can access it for free at wealthycoachacademylive.com forward slash challenge. I'm going to put the link here uh, in today's video somewhere in the description, wealthycoachacademylive.com forward slash challenge. It's a little bit of a long link. So, um, like I said, client, and let me know if you guys have any questions about this topic because it's a huge topic, right? We're talking about how do you transform your purpose into a profitable business model. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you it's really scary to put yourself out there. I get it. It can be really, really scary and you can get hit in the face with all kinds of, you know, resistance. Um, so I get that. You know, launching your business, launching your purpose, it, it can be very scary. So, like I said, most of my clients come to see me because they want to really launch their coaching consulting business. They want it to be profitable and they want to have consistent, you know, cash flow. They want to feel more confident with what they're doing. They want to know how to market themselves, how to sell themselves. And even though they have this big purpose and this big calling, even though they've, you know, they've got a ton of life experience that would make for a great business, they tell me that they have some frustrations, like they don't know how to narrow in on their niche. They don't know if they're, you know, attracting uh, the right people to their offers. They don't know how to package that experience into a sellable brand. And they don't want to alienate people that they could potentially be helping by, you know, narrowing in on their niche. And I get that. You know, I remember when I first started my business uh, over 10 years ago, I had a ton of qualifications. I was a rock star sales uh, person, but I didn't know how to start bringing that into the marketplace. I didn't know what my first steps could be. Uh, my clients also tell me that they feel kind of stuck and overwhelmed and unclear and scared of making the wrong decision. Do you feel like that? Like scared that, oh my gosh, if I decide on this program name or this niche, or even what to call myself, it's going to alienate people. And here's what I tell them. I tell people to create an umbrella, an umbrella brand. Okay, so it's kind of like, think of an umbrella, right? It's got like this big overarching canopy and then there are these spokes, right? The little metal pieces that come down in the umbrella as different service offerings. But there's an overarching brand that can encompass all of these things. And when when we you know we've been doing this now for 10 years when we show our clients you know to create a canopy kind of like an umbrella and attract people into their tribe the next thing is to you know really survey your audience and let the tribe define what problems you solve for profit let the tribe tell you in their own in their own language you know the solutions that they're looking for the service offering the pain points etc Hey, Lamora, let me know if you guys have any questions. Drop them here in the chat for me. I'd love to answer any questions that you guys have about this. So again, the main point is to create a brand that's kind of like an umbrella 
and let your clients, let your potential audience, your tribe, tell you how they see you as an expert. And by the way, if you guys want like a real blueprint on how to launch yourself out there as a highly paid coach, check out our wealthycoachacademylive.com forward slash challenge uh, masterclass uh, video training. That's a long freaking link. I think I put it here in the description. So it reminds me of two stories I'm going to share with you guys here today. So let me tell you a story about when I first started out as a coach. I... Um, did a telesummit. So I, we have a lot of our clients that come to us because they've invested in these crazy telesummit programs and they're still not making high ticket coaching sales. So I was one of those people starting out myself. I did a telesummit program. It took me months and months. I finally, you know, launched the thing. I had all these massive uh, failures. The website went down during the launch. Uh, it cost me a lot of money. I actually had to do the course twice before I finally got in action because the technology really overwhelmed me. Um, and I, I created a list of about 2,000 people during that telesummit. And I thought it was going to be like strike it rich overnight, right? Which was not the case. It was really disappointing. And my mentor at the time told me, you know, Vanessa, it's now it's time to survey your list. And so I started surveying them. I started sending them questions with um, you know the promise of a benefit or something I would do for them if they answered these questions. And I think I got like 69 people out of that list of 2,000 people that I had generated for the Telesummit to answer some questions like, you know, what are you struggling with? What's your biggest challenge? What have you tried before? If you could ask me one question, what would it be? And I got a lot of information from that. And the information that I gathered from the tribe soon became my service offerings, all right? So again, it's this idea of, you know, getting in the game, right? Because what a lot of entrepreneurs do is they want to think and they want to think and they want to like get everything perfect before they put it out there. And you can get stuck in this like overthinking and perfectionism mode. And the truth is, after servicing now thousands of you know entrepreneurs in the last 10 years, the confidence and the clarity that you're seeking is actually coming from the doing. So the confidence and the clarity is coming from the doing. It's not coming from the thinking. So what I suggest you do is, you know, put yourself out there, start surveying your tribe and just close the loop in your mind that says, oh my God, you know, it has to be perfect to get out there. Next week, you can call yourself something else. Next week, if you want, you can change the name of your program. Next week, you can change your audience, but get in the game, right? Start doing, stop thinking, start doing. Really, what's, what's really going on here is a lot of resistance. And one of the things that we aim to really um, achieve in our programs is to help women identify resistance and then obliterate it, be able to take action in the face of that resistance, right? I'm going to tell you guys another story. So, so that story was about me launching as uh, an entrepreneur, as a coach. I did a telesummit and I found what my audience wanted to ask me. I surveyed them. I got in their language the problems that they wanted help with. And then I started making offers about that. That's really service. That's really called being in service, right? You're, you're not just selling what you think people want. You're actually, you know, delivering obviously if you can you're actually delivering on you know the challenges that they have in their own words really important um, the next story I have for you this is actually why I, I decided to do this video today it was a client I, in our live Q&A last week who said hey Vanessa you know I really am struggling with how to brand myself what do I call myself because I teach yoga I've been teaching yoga for years meditation I do retreats I do a lot of like this inner work with people and I want to launch into the coaching world, you know, how do I, you know, how do I actually do this? What do I call myself? So again, let's, let's get into this. People, I know women, the women entrepreneurs, coaches spend so much time, wasted, wasted time on what to call themselves. And it's actually, it's not that important. It's not that important. This is again, resistance coming up you know, to um, prevent you from facing rejection, putting yourself out there, making offers, failing, falling flat on your face. All right, this bikini business coach brand of mine came five years into me having a coaching business. It didn't come on day one, you know. Um, 
So then your actual name is not that important. And what I, what I tell my clients all the time, and I'm gonna tell you guys here today, what I wanna share with you is make it really clear. So if you're a weight loss coach, just call yourself a weight loss coach. If you're a business coach, call yourself a business coach. If you're a social media coach, call yourself a social, uh, you know, uh, a, a coach for parents, call yourself the most direct, simplest thing. Because there's a lot of gurus out there that talk to you about, you gotta stand out, and you gotta be so different, and you end up becoming so woo-woo and calling yourself something so flamboyant that people are like looking at you and they're like, what the, f what, is, what is this? What is she doing? So, you know, call yourself the most direct thing. I'm a sales coach, I'm a mindset mentor, I'm a spiritual, uh, you know, spiritual guide. Call yourself the most direct thing and then let your content, let the videos that you create and the content, uh, filter people, let let that be what you know connects and engages your audience. It's not really your name. So we see a lot of people like stirring around and running around and around these circles of, I can't move forward because I don't know what to call myself. But that again is just resistance. You see what I mean? That's why we focus so heavily in our programs about how to identify resistance, how to obliterate it, how to get into action um, and not let that resistance hold you back. That was my number one major hang up when I first started. I spent years buying all these crazy courses, going to all these events and going nowhere in my business because of resistance. I didn't even know what that was. Real thing. Um, so that's why we focus on it so much. And I, what I told her is the same thing. Make an overarching brand that can attract a lot of people and then survey your tribe, ask your tribe, get it in their own words, you know, what they're struggling with, what you can actually help them with and make those offers. So again, this is a long video guys. Um, thank you for joining us here. If you're catching the replay, if you have any questions, let me know. But the main thing that I want to share with you is to get in the game, all right? Notice that all of this procrastination or feeling stuck or feeling overwhelmed or not clear, is not going to go away by thinking and thinking and thinking. You're going to get clarity by the doing, by putting yourself out there, by taking the risk, right? It's a lot, it's freaking scary, man. I get it. It's really scary to live your purpose. I was terrified, hands down, for years, you know? Um, and every new level of the game that you get into is, is going to require a different version of yourself. It's still scary, you know? but getting in the game, right? The clarity comes from the doing, taking the risk to put you, yourself and your work out there. You know, that's what's going to get you the clarity that you're seeking, not the thinking, not the thinking of it. And that your name is actually not that important. That's just another little procrastination ego, you know, trying to prevent you from uh, rejection and failure. There's a lot of failure in business. There's a lot of failure in learning. That's how you learn, right? And it's not failure, it's just feedback. So guys, if you are serious about creating your own business, if you're serious about creating a six or seven figure online coaching program, a portable profitable business model, you will love the uh, Wealthy Coach uh, training program that I put together for you. It's absolutely free. There's four videos that are really specific. You're going to love each one. The first one's really about dialing in your audience and getting really clear on, you know, who you are, who you serve, what problems you solve for profit. Uh, check it out. The link is here in this video, wealthycoachacademylive.com forward slash challenge. It's really long link so I, I made sure I put it here in the video check that out and again if you guys have any questions let me know happy to serve happy to help you guys get in the game start doing stop thinking and finally get the clarity the confidence and the cash flow that you want for your business Thanks again for tuning in live. I'm always amazed that people are here live. My name is Vanessa Simpkins from TakeYourPowerBackNow.com and I'll see you guys real soon. If you like this video, if you found it valuable, please share it, uh, comment, uh, share it with your friends and your fans. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you guys real soon.